Welcome to Ron Stark, The Voice, your weekly adventure into the who, what, where, and why of our Southern California communities. And in our little coffee house today, we are joined by Detective Mario Dorado, and he's going to be talking about a wonderful program that has combined partners from the Riverside area. We're talking the Riverside Police Department, students from UCR, and the Rain Cross Boxing Academy, all to help young and challenged or at-risk youth. It's going to be a great conversation, one you will not want to miss. Now, at our website, ronstarkthevoice.com, you'll find a complete listing of all the times and days our show can be enjoyed, as well as an archive of past shows and guests. We have a great show lined up for you today, so don't go away. We will be right back. Welcome to the Shrimp House, a full-service American-style seafood restaurant. I love this place. I can dress casually and go to either their Arcadia or brand new Fontana location for some of the best seafood I have ever had. The Shrimp House offers both dine-in and takeout specials. One of my favorites is their discounted family packs to go. My kids love them. What I really like about this place is the casual environment, with dinner starting at $6.99 and kids' meals just $4.99 and that includes beverage and dessert. But they're best known for their golden fried shrimp. They're peeled and lightly breaded with their own special blend of seasonings every day right on premises. They also feature grilled shrimp, Parmesan encrusted shrimp, grilled chipotle cream shrimp, shrimp scampi, shrimp cocktails, coconut shrimp, and shrimp tacos, along with a full menu including steak, chicken, grilled fish, and more. For more information, visit their website, shrimphouse.net or shrimphousefontana.com. It is that time of the show when we say hello once again to our favorite happiness guru, Reverend Greg Dorst, who is a senior minister at the Claremont Center for Spiritual Living. And Greg, one of the only things that I believe are really guaranteed in life is change. And change seems to be something that as, as humans, we don't always do so well with. Well, we don't. We try and make things stay the same, in fact. And there are a lot of people who say that uh, they like change, but then they really don't. You know, somebody comes into their house and moves something and all of a sudden it doesn't feel right. So they immediately figure that out and move it back. But change can be hard for many people and a strategy probably is necessary. I was in a pizza place the other day and I saw, it was a takeout pizza place, and I saw a little sign that said, change is difficult, leave yours here. I like that. And I thought, well, you know what? Just a little mindset change. Mm -hmm. uh, that change is difficult uh, to change is natural and easy and part of an evolvement that we need to participate in fully can be helpful. It, it really, and I think you're right. It has more to do with how we view it than anything else. You know, change is not a bad thing. It's not a good thing. It's a thing. And it's what we decide to do with it that really makes it. And without change, I don't know that you can have growth. Yeah, it's it's assured that change is going to happen. Let's make that let's, let's make the best out of that change. You know, let's have a direction. Let's plant that seed for something that we really want to see in our lives. So we have that opportunity every time that we think a thought. We have the opportunity to think a different thought than we've thought in the past. You think a different thought a different action occurs, and you receive a different experience. So it changes everything when you decide to take a different tact in the way you think. And that, that is so true. You know, and people go, well, but that's not my real thought, and that's okay. It may not be now, but if you keep doing it, eventually it will be. Exactly. You, you can practice you know, appropriate thinking. 
And you can do it by weeding out those thoughts that tend to be uh, negative or judgmental or about somebody else. We or all, yourself. Or yourself, yeah. You know, we all have conversations that never exist except in our heads. Exactly. And someone said to me once, we would never even think about talking to other people as badly as we often talk to ourselves. Yeah. Reverend Greg, every Sunday, Claremont Center for Spiritual Living, service time is? 10.30 in the morning, 10 o'clock meditation time. All right. Come on out. I'm there most Sundays. Come by and say hello. Reverend Greg, thank you for joining us. Thank you so much, Ron. We will be right back. It is that time of the show when we say hello to today's guests. And today's guests really antipify what it means for a city or a community to partner with businesses. We are joined by Mario Dorado, who is a detective with the Riverside Police Department, and Celia Miranda, who is a student at UCR and president of the UCR boxing team. Uh, note to self, do not make Celia angry at me. Um, but I wanted to start with you, Mario. This is a really unique program that helps not only at-risk youth within your community, but also helps some of the students at UCR. Tell us a little bit about it and, and how it came together. Yes, basically it's uh, three different groups who are passionate about boxing, but more importantly, are passionate about helping youth. Uh, how it came together is uh, myself and another uh, detective from the police department were working out in a local park along with my father. And we were working and training specifically about boxing on a regular basis. And we noticed that uh, young people would come and watch. And it was several times uh, people would come up to us, do you train? Do you train? And we didn't train at the time. We were just working with each other. So we came up with the idea, well, we live in this city. What do we have in the city? We have a university. We have, uh, we're fortunate to be uh, working for a police department. And what can we bring? So the idea started uh, mixing around. Uh, we, we need a gym. What can we do? So we said, we're going to bring people together, people who are passionate about boxing, like I said before. So that's what we did. We reached out and we've had so much help. We've had so many different organizations come to uh, help us in this and bring this organization together. So, Celia, UCR is a part of this equation, you know, this kind of partnership between the police department, uh, the college that you attend, and Rain Cross Boxing Academy. What role do you, as president of the, of the boxing team and UCR, what role do you play in this overall partnership? Well, in the partnership we work in, we work with the youth. We help them promote higher education. We're trying to get them into going into college because mon many of us don't get that many opportunities to go to college. Mm -hmm. So our parents haven't taught us the way it works to get into college. So we figured out that maybe if we as college students can show them how we got into college, that can help them get, in, get them into college too. And the youth that are involved with this program, how, how do you find them or how do they find you? Yes, we've actually had other nonprofit organizations reach out to us and uh, ask about our program and want to be part of it. Uh, we're in the process now of working with the uh, school district and selecting uh, a certain number of students who would come into our program. We're currently working the last three months uh, training with uh, a small group of students that represent a, a school. So be, we've been working with them for the last several months. So yeah, and the, it's not just on the athletic side. You're no. working with them in terms of their education, tutoring. Yes, absolutely we are. Uh, we have the pro boxers. We have some great names. Uh, Riverside, the surrounding area, is the hub of professional boxing. We have uh, some big names out there. I did not know that. Yes, we do. Josecito Lopez, Saul Rodriguez, Chris Ariola. Uh, Jonathan Ariano, we can go on and on and on. And we partnered with them along with uh, trainer, professional trainer, Henry Ramirez. Uh, so they're using our gym, they're being mentors, they're promoting the program. And when these young people come in to our gym, they see the UCR students who are training them also. So, and the police department who is managing the gym. So they see all these entities, all these different groups of people, 
look up to them and it doesn't matter what they're going through, uh, they're having issues with their schoolwork at home, they can come in and be inspired and disciplined and have a conditioning program. So what's the ultimate end goal? Someone comes into the program maybe not on the straightest path, maybe having trouble in school, trouble outside of school. What, what do you hope for them by the time they work their way through your program? We'll select anybody. Anyone who's willing to come in, we'll accept. We'll work on them one-on-one -on -one with groups. We'll uh, encourage them, as Celia stated, to go to college. And sometimes college is not the path for certain people, just to get them uh, busy, to get them off the streets, to get them focused, to have someone uh, to inspire them, a mentor. Uh, we're, in fact, talking about mentors, we're currently in the works with working with uh, Big Brother and Big Sister oh, and other organizations to come in. We were fortunate enough to have the Director of Strength and Conditioning to design a strength and conditioning program for us. We have a nutritionist that we're working with um, through the Rearside Medical Clinic. So you have a whole host of people coming in to help young people and to give them the best that services that they can. Nice. And for some of these young people, having people actually take an interest yes. in them, that alone has to be uh, different. And, and Celia, this has worked out well for your group on the UCR campus, because I believe uh, you went from practicing under bleachers to a real gym? Yes. Yes, we did practice under the bleachers. I mean, we were fortunate enough to get a space where we can practice our boxing, but Rain Cross Academy came up with this idea. They said, all you have to do is 30 minutes of tutoring and help these kids. And we're like, okay, we get community service, we get recommendation letters, we're helping the community. We don't see a lose situation. When, uh, this is a win-win situation All the for way us. around. Well, we're gonna take a quick break, but when we come back, we're gonna hear from one of the young people that are part of this program. And we'll hear firsthand all the good that your work is doing. So don't go away, we will be right back. Hi, I'm Jennifer Ewan, and I do the hair and makeup for Ron Stark and his guests. I would like to make you look and feel like a star all of the time. Come meet me at Studio M Salon and Spa in Upland, and if you mention this show, you can receive a free consultation and half off a haircut. I offer the best in makeup and formal styles for weddings, proms, and all of your special occasions including special effects makeup, hairstyling, cutting, and color, hair and eyelash extensions, facials, and body treatments. So if you want to look and feel like a star, come see me at Studio M Salon and Spa in Upland. Give me a call today for your free consultation and half off a haircut at 626-589-3475 or 909-981-6800. Ron Stark The Voice is brought to you by KMET Radio, Smart Talk 1490, Intelligent Conversation and Information for the Inland Empire. Your home for Andrea Tanteros, weekday mornings, Lakers and Clippers basketball, Kings hockey, Angels baseball, and of course, Ron Stark The Voice. Heard every Friday at 3 p.m. and Saturdays at 10 a.m. Your home for intelligent conversation and information for the Inland Empire, KMET. Also check out KMET1490AM.com. We are back and coming to you from the beautiful KGEM studios located in gorgeous Old Town Monrovia. And today we are talking about a wonderful program that's been started by the Riverside Police Department. We are joined by Mario Dorado, who is a detective with the Riverside PD. And just joining us is Eric Fong. And Mario, I'll let you introduce Eric and what it is that he's doing as a very important part of this program. Yeah, this is Eric. He's one of the many um, club members of the Highlander Boxing Club. He's an active participant. He's helped us with the uh, gym. He's in line to train um, several of the young people, all the youth, new members. Um, so he will primarily be involved with the tutoring program and also the training. So he's one of our, our members who will come in and actually be, be involved directly in the program. See, and I love that. And I, I, what I really like is what I'll call your TNT approach, your training and tutoring. 
um, because the training is important. It teaches self-discipline. It keeps them active, gets them off the street. But it's equally important we get them through school, right? Yes. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about what you do and how you do it. Oh, uh, I would usually go into the gym and I'd practice to try to become an upcoming boxer. But other than that, uh, whenever, we, whenever we have these uh, participants, I would hold the mitts for them, teach them. If they need any help with any sort of class, uh, I'm already a scholar in college, so I can help them with whatever they need. Uh, well, I like to work out with them, but I also like to get to know them too. They may be gym members, but to me, they're also like, you can develop a bond, a friendship with them. So like, get them closer to the gym, more active, you know, teach them some discipline, teach, teach them something new, you know. And you know, that's one of the things I like about this is, you know, we don't know what their past or even present life looks like, but to have people around, you know, like, you know, the, the police officers and like young people who are probably somewhat close, close in age that are on a really positive path that they may want to follow. So have, have you started working with anyone yet or are you in, in preparation for that? Oh yeah, uh, Mario brought in a new batch of uh, the uh, kids. Uh, I was able to work with them, do some mitts. Uh, they seemed very interested in it and they show a lot of heart, lots of courage for like people just starting it. Stepping in the ring is like, not everybody can do that. You see, I'd have no problem stepping in the ring as long as I was the only one in it. <laughs> right. If I can be there right. all by myself, I'm fine. Yeah. Uh, across from you, ain't gonna happen. Oh no. All right, so you've started the physical aspect of the training. How do they come to you when they want help with, say, their schoolwork? Do you carve out separate time for that? You know, I can't really see that happening in the gym. So how do you handle that part? Oh, we're pretty flexible about it. Whenever they need, like, oh, like, I'm tired, like, uh, Oh, okay, do you want to take a break? Or do you want to take like a lesson out? Like, okay, like uh, I want a break right now. They'll go to uh, one of our uh, rooms separate from the gym. And like there's a bunch of books in there. There's chairs, there's AC. Oh my gosh, yeah, there's AC. <laughs> so they can bring their homework with them and they can train. And then if they're having issues or challenges, there's people like you there to help them get through their homework. Yeah, and the thing about that is their program doesn't like take them from like their home. It takes them like straight out from school. So they have the homework with them takes them to our program, work out. Okay, you guys want to do some homework? Yeah, all right, we got some books. That's awesome. Now, I know this program is still pretty much in, in startup or launch mode. What's your long-term goal for this? Do you see rolling this out to other communities? Oh, for right now, we're going we're gonna to focus on our mission here and to help the young people, specifically in Riverside and the surrounding communities. We've had people from other cities uh, trying to become members now. So this is all about helping young people. That's all it's about. Whatever happens in the future, whatever other assistance we have, yes, we'll go with it. But we want to stay to our, to our focus, to our mission, and to help young people come in and just to encourage them and inspire them. All right, if someone wants more information about this program, how can they get it? We have a website, uh, we also have Facebook, it's uh, raincrossboxingacademy.com. Uh, Go on there, uh, send us an email, we'll respond to you uh, very quickly. Uh, any questions you have, uh, we have regular days of the week where we have new members come in, uh, give you a tour and help right. you out. Rain, Raincrossboxingacademy.com. Well, best of luck in what you guys are doing. It's Thank a you. wonderful cause. Don't go away. We will be right back. It is that time of the show when we say hello to our favorite health and wellness expert, Stephanie Peters, who is a co-owner of the Eden Day Spa and Wellness Center. And every week you share with us tips about how we yes. can lead a happier and healthier life. Mm -hmm. Here's a big one that okay. we could probably do a whole full show segment on. Okay. Healthy eating. I, I, we all have bits and pieces of that puzzle. I don't think any of us have the whole puzzle. Mm -hmm. Some of us think to eat healthy takes a lot more time and effort. What's the reality? Well, the first thing I always tell people is you can't out supplement a bad diet. So you want to make sure you have good supplementation into your diet. But just looking and starting to read ingredients and learning to know what you're looking for. So, you know, white refined sugars and flours, knowing all the different names for MSG. Shopping around the perimeter of your grocery store is going to be your best bet. 
Des describe that shopping around the. Pr I've never heard that. I like that. Okay, so when if you think about the your grocery store, the produce is around the aisle. Your meats. Um, those types of things. In the center of your store are all your processed, uh, boxed, things that can last on the shelf for seven years type food. Okay, or you know, start visiting some of the specialty stores yes. that, that specialize in the, the healthier types of items. Yes, and you can go organic or you cannot. You can lean into that lifestyle. Sometimes people think, oh, I have to eat organic to eat healthy, and that's just not true. You can lean into the lifestyle. But do I have to just go to a diet of just vegetables and salads if I'm going to eat healthy? No, we recommend 50 to 75 percent of your diet is raw fruits and vegetables. But no, you're going to have lean proteins, your chicken and fish. You can even do beef. I know a lot of people say, oh, don't do the beef. But, you know, if you're doing a good, healthy, grass-fed beef, you can do that in moderation. I always say do a little of the real thing in moderation than the fake stuff. And, you know, I've, I've found that just by kind of flopping the diet that I grew up on, yes. which was the you know, traditional meat and potatoes. Yes. And when I'm, say, preparing a meal for my kids or mm -hmm. if I've invited someone over, you know, I'll do the salad. Yes. I'll typically have two vegetables as sides. That's a good idea. And then a smaller portion of meat or fish or fowl. Yes. But that represents the smallest item on the plate. Yes. And I would also recommend um, a lot of people cut uh, fat out of their diet. They think diet and they cut fat out. You cannot have good hormone health and you cannot have good health if you don't have enough omega fatty acids and the good fats in your but diet. Learn the difference between the clean learn fats the between... and the ones that aren't clean. Yes. I love coconut oil. Yes. If someone wants more information on this or anything we've talked about, how do they reach you? They would go to our website at edendespaglandora.com or call us at 626-335-5200. Check out their website. It's a real resource. Talks about classes, seminars, one-on-one -on -one consulting. And stick around. The best part of this show is still yet to come. Feel better, work better, live better in a clean environment with EnviroClean. EnviroClean is a locally owned and operated janitorial and supply company serving the Inland Empire for over 23 years. They carry a wide variety of environmentally safe and non-toxic chemicals, soaps and cleaning supplies, along with paper products, mops and more. They offer commercial, industrial and residential cleaning services. Their cleaning crew is licensed and bonded, and they are trustworthy, loyal, and hardworking. They'll assign a dedicated crew and supervisor to ensure your complete satisfaction with every visit. We also offer carpet cleaning, window cleaning, pressure washing, floor care services, and construction and clean maintenance. I'm Michelle Pallas of Sales and Marketing for EnviroClean. Please give us a call, 909-947-6611. Ron Stark, your voice of the Inland Empire here, and I love EnviroClean. They clean for me twice a month and just made my carpets look like new. For a free quote, give them a call today at 909-947-6611 or visit their website at EnviroClean.com. Small business owner, are you frustrated and looking for a better way to track your finances? I can help you. I am the QuickBook Queen. I offer you peace of mind and prosperity with custom QuickBooks setup, training, and troubleshooting services by the hour at your location. We specialize in helping businesses find the quickest, easiest way to enter their data, providing accurate financial reports that guide owners to successfully grow their business. The Queen is launching her free online tutorials and webinars this summer to help more people across the country and around the world. See qbqueen.com and QuickBooksFreeTutorials.com. Call QB Queen Linda Russell at 1-877-553-4422 for your free 20-minute phone consultation. I'm here for you.
that time of the year again, the fall season for the Ontario Rain Hockey and Ontario Fury Soccer at the Citizens Business Bank Arena. These teams have a huge fan base. Why? Because the games are so exciting and the entertainment is truly fun for the whole family. A few other events coming up at the arena in November. Wow, talk about something for everyone. On November 15th, professional bull riding returns with the Blue Velocity Tour. November 22nd, Enduro Cross is back, and this time it's the championship. November 28th, we hear Joan Sebastian in concert. And on the 29th, there are two shows, a matinee and an evening show with the Trans-Siberian Orchestra. If you've never experienced this event, what a treat. It's rock and roll with a laser light show and a full theatrical production with a wonderful story. The Christmas Attic begins on Christmas Eve when a young girl's curiosity leads her to a night of mischief and magic when she opens the box she finds in the attic. There's always something going on at the Citizens Business Bank Arena. Check the website at cbbankarena.com for a calendar of upcoming shows or call the box office at 909-244-5600. The Citizens Business Bank Arena, the place to be. Guns Home Interiors is a premier interior design company that can help to improve your indoor living space with a complete selection of quality home services. Their skilled building contractors can handle everything from window coverings to flooring and all other home remodeling and improvement solutions. They take pride in offering a comprehensive array of quality home solutions at a low price. By updating the appearance of your bathroom and kitchen, you can transform the look and feel of your home at a low price. Whether you want to completely change the look or simply need an update, they can provide the exact results you are looking for. From cabinets to wall coverings, they specialize in all types of interior design and decorating. Guns Home Interiors, the oldest shop in Covina, call today at 626-966-4131. Why wait? Call today or schedule your appointment online at their website at interiordesigncovina.com. What a great show. I so enjoyed chatting with all of our guests, and I want to thank you for tuning in and joining us. And please, remember to set your DVR so you never miss another episode of Ron Stark The Voice. We're now on in more places than ever. So visit our website at ronstarkthevoice.com, and you can find the exact times and days that our show can be seen. And while you're there, drop us an email. We love to hear from you. Comments, ideas, suggestions, recommendations for a show guest. Let us know. If you don't have access to the internet or just prefer a more traditional way of contact, you can use our telephone hotline at 909-746-8846. That's 909-746-8846. So until next week, this is Ron Stark reminding you to be productive, care for your world and the people around you, work hard, find time for fun, and always remember to give back whatever and whenever you can. Until next time, goodbye for now.